Hello, Minecraft has changed a lot in this snapshot, which I did not expect to give it the fact that, oh, what, what? Well, that's weird. I'm hiding particles, but you can see particles coming out of me, so I don't know what's going on there. Given this is the ninth week of 2024, I didn't expect any major snapshots to really come out anymore. Like, we're nearly in March, April, May, June, July, maybe it's like three or four months away from re-releases. We have a major game-changing, Minecraft-changing snapshot. And I'm gonna cover everything here as concisely as I can, as usual. It's a Thursday video, snapshot news. Subscribe to me for those things. First of all, thank you for 200,000 followers on Twitch. I wanna mention one of the less interesting things, although also extremely game-breaking. Minecraft is kind of doing away with NBT tags for item stacks or items. So originally, if you wanted to give yourself a diamond pickaxe with some damage, you'll do something like this. So damage, and then if you wanted to damage it like 100 times, it'd be something like this. This no longer works. Let me show you what it looks like now. It says components. Now what it thinks is I've given it some random custom data that's called damage, which doesn't actually relate to the damage that Diamond Pickaxe received. Instead, it's a lot easier now. So they've actually listed it for you with structured components. A lot of these things don't apply to the Diamond Pickaxe, but some things like Minecraft damage. So if you want it to be damaged 100 times, you just go 100. And then this pickaxe has been damaged 100 times, 1461 out of 1561. You can combine it with enchantments, fortune, that also works. So that's fortune three diamond pickaxe. Or if you just want to give yourself an unbreakable Minecraft pickaxe, you can just go Minecraft unbreakable. And then you can leave that empty because that's just a boolean. So there you go. That is an unbreakable diamond pickaxe. You can't do something like this anymore. You might just think it's a custom data thing. Yeah. Of course. Now, Potato Man's been asking me to try something, so he sent me this on <laughs> Discord. This is a bow with multi-shot one and piercing four. So I don't know why I'm still on this pillar from the last video. Let me just get down here. This will give me a multi-shot bow without any customization. I don't believe this was possible prior to this. Now I'm curious as to how inappropriate enchantments apply to inappropriate items now. So I'll experiment with that another time. Take a moment to re-examine these things because it's going to break a lot of previous maps or previous projects that you've been trying to work on. All right, now, what the hell is going on with Minecraft and the way it looks? So this is the escape menu. Now I don't have my... I usually use the high contrast thing. I'm not going to apply that just yet because that actually breaks the game now. Oh, by the way, dogs are good. Now, <laughs> they've made dogs practically invincible, so you can now die dog armor. There it is. And then you just give it to them, and that's what it looks like. So, I'm not gonna hit the dog. Oh, and here's the bogged, by the way. Remember when I said that the head had a brown mushroom and a red mushroom? Oh, there's one back here too, I didn't realize. Well, if you shear it, you can cut off its spores and get some mushrooms. And now you can't do it anymore, because it's bold now. Unless you do this, you undo its shear tag and you can just keep on shearing it. The game looks kind of different and this isn't even the most altered screen. So let me quit out of the game. You can see there's a box around everything. This is the way the game looks without the high contrast pack, which I always use. If you go into single player, there is now an applied blur over the panorama. This is adjustable and I'll show you guys how you can do that in a second. If you think the blur is too much, if you think the blur is not enough, you can alter it. You can see that everything works across the overlay. It's no longer a dirt background. Basically, you will no longer see the dirt background unless you apply the programmer art. But again, it kind of breaks the game now, which I'm afraid to say they may not really focus on because it's programmer art and they didn't really care for that. This is all the same. The blur is not your usual blur. According to Awaken Redstone, that is intentional. It doesn't look great though. The world is macaroni. So then, if you blur it out, the blur looks kind of funky. So if you want to adjust that, you go into accessibility settings. This is still visible. You can change it over here. So menu, background blurriness, 50%. This is 0%. Uh, this is 100%. <laughs> this is very blurry. Now, some of you might think, oh, just do that. And that's not going to cut it because there are some menu screens that rely on this being darkened by contrast. If you click on telemetry data, for instance, now it looks like the chat's in the way. Some of the text might not be easy to read. You might be telling me that's actually easy to read. Some people might find it very difficult, especially since the screen behind you may not be this way all the time. Likewise, something like this might be harder to read for some people. It's up to you how you want to deal with it. Now, this only applies currently 
to menu screens. Things like chess and books don't have anything affected with it, which is fine. Uh, the end screen, however, is different. Let me show you that. This has to be related to Bedrock Parody. This has to be related to the fact that they're trying to revamp the game to look more presentable. So, bye-bye, nostalgia. It's all modernization now. <laughs> Originally, the end poem shows across the dirt background as usual. Now, it uses the end portal overlay. I mean, it looks kind of fancy. It does make sense. It doesn't feel off. Again, it's to do with the text visibility and it doesn't look as legible or easy to read. So I think this one I'm not too much of a fan of. Anyway, that's that. Now, there are a lot of bugs with this as with any feature introduction. If I apply the program art, uh, this one's not as bugged out, but this is still kind of wrong in my opinion. If I go back to the game and I want to, for instance, start playing like punching a tree, in fact, I'm not going to do that. I've played enough survival. If I was doing something in the game and I saw a creeper, oh no, the creeper, I mean, oh man, <laughs> and the creeper's about to explode and I hit escape, I can't see the game anymore because they have applied the dirt background across the entire screen. That's problematic. It's not terrible. I mean, it is kind of bad. That's not the way it should be. It should still show you the game as if you didn't have the programmer art, you can still see the game is blurred behind you. If you apply it, it is gone. So if you want to have the dirt background back, you can have it back. But that also brings back every single old texture in the game. So the game now looks like old Minecraft, old gold ore. It's not separatable, these things. You have to create it yourself. And lastly, the main issue comes from the high contrast resource pack, which I always use. This is my bread and butter. You see it in every single video because I think it looks lovely. The problem with this is that for some reason, every time you transition to a different area of the, of the world where there's a different client light level, so client light level 5, the game applies a darkness setting across your entire screen. So it looks like it's nighttime right now. I can assure you it is not. I can set it to this. And then if I re-emerge, it is bright again. I spoke at length about this on last night's live stream. You can pause the game and once again, apply the entire black background to it. I've done a ton of experimentation with this. So effect give at S. If I apply some night vision, it doesn't work. The only thing you can do to fix this is to have some sort of light level change. So if I have a torch and place it down, it doesn't work, <laughs> but it works to fix the bug. So I, I don't, can you explain this to me, please? They don't know. There's a curious thing where this does provide some interesting gameplay elements. So the nether has a natural red tint to it that is applied everywhere. So even though the client light level is zero, well, there is probably fire here or lava. It's never going to be fully dark. Even if you emerge above bedrock layer, the limbo area, you'll still be able to see things. This does not work in the end because the end doesn't have the same feature. So if you are trying to play the game in the end, you'll be blind. <laughs> Unless you do something like this. And you can see again. 